FAMU is known for the March 100, been in the MEAC for 39 years, not to mention all of the FAMU alum and students alike are letting me know that, hey, they are the number one public HBCU in the nation. That's right. They say no one is higher than them. They are the cream of the crop when it comes to HBCUs. So I'm like, guys, you know what? I understand that because you guys have truly been doing things at your own rate for God knows how long now. I mean, you guys are always setting the, setting the bar very high. I mean, you got some folks wondering what's next. And I mean, fam, you boy, I, all I can say is this. I know y'all got some things cooking over there, but not like this. <laughs> guys, yes, sir. You know it's your favorite coach. He's back at it again. Ten toes down, let you know what's going on. But check this out, guys. Before we get into everything, I need y'all to just remember one thing. Welcome back to Tomorrow League Sports Network with your host, Coach Walker. If you're new to the channel, please like, share, subscribe. That's right, guys. Subscribe to the channel. Tap in a friend. Two, three, four, five. Tell them to come on in. This is a family vibe, guys. Ain't nothing but positive things going on over here. We keeping it kosher, having a good time. And just guess what? We just entertaining one another right now. But, guys, let me tell you something else. Also, you can follow us on social media. The links are listed down below in the description. Not to mention, I'm going to tell you right now, we're going to do a giveaway real soon. I have not forgotten. I'm trying to get everybody to make sure that they subscribe to the social media platform that's listed down below in the description. Make sure you follow us on Instagram. I know I said that. I'm going to keep repeating that, guys. Like I said, look forward to those rules coming next week. They are coming. So, without further ado, like I said, don't forget, follow us on social media. The links are listed down below. So, without further ado, we're just going to jump, we just gonna jump on in this thing right now, right? FAMU has been known for being trailblazers and figured it was high time that they go ahead and raise the bar a little bit higher. Because guess what, guys? They're making moves over there. They, they, you know, like Eddie Murphy said, making moves. I'm making moves. They're making moves over there. You see FAMU putting $10 million into, the, into Bragg's. Memorial Stadium to get renovations going on over there, not to mention the state of the art locker rooms that they have already with inside of Bragg's uh, Memorial Stadium. So you know what? They just letting letting you know, hey, recruits, y'all going to see some things different over here. But fam, you, they ain't done. They, they, they're not done. Guys, I know you already heard about the deal that they got with LeBron James as far as with them, you know, the shoes that he wore during the uh, NBA All-Star game, right? Okay, I know y'all. Oh, but do fam, you why why they go to that? They had a brand joint last year. Okay, but you gotta understand. You're looking at things on the surface. Dig down into the deal and see what's really going on. If you don't know, I'm gonna tell you right now. HBCUs around the country, they're beginning to understand that if you want to get the best recruits, you must have what's gonna entice them to become a part of your program. And listen, I mean, fam, you did land a power five transfer by none other than then Savion Williams from the University of Tennessee. Guys, now, if Savion Williams sees, some, sees something within the FAMU family that he wanted to become a part of to go ahead and continue his collegiate career, don't think nobody else is going to see it. Hey, Coach Prime, hey, FAMU is saying, Coach Prime ain't the only one out here can get down with the get down. We got it moving over here too. And I believe it. I see y'all moving and grooving over there because you know what? I think, fam, you truly understand the fact that culture and facilities is everything when it comes to the recruits. Because you got to understand, when recruits come in there, they're looking to see exactly how they're going to fit in and how they're going to fit into not only the program, but how, how well can they adapt to the environment that they're going to be in because they're going to be away from their families. So you got to understand, those things are like a marriage. They're like hand in hand. If you don't have those two things going together, guess what, guys? It's going to be tough sled trying to get them daggone recruits in there, man. So I'm going to tell you right now. Check this out. When the recruits come in there, they're looking to, they looking to see what the weight room look like, what the, what, what their dorm room's going to look like, you know, what the stadium look like, man. You know, they're trying to see exactly how everything works around on your campus so they can go ahead and say, hey, this is something I want to commit to. This is a college co This is a college program I want to bring my talents to as well as they want my talents. I want to bring them there so I can go ahead and showcase what I can do. And guess what? That's what's going to help you get them daggone uh, recruits over there. And, you know, you ain't got to worry about them rejecting your offers because now you have the things in place that they see like, man, they really got it going on over here. Let me let me let me go ahead and become a part of this family family, which they want to do. But I'm hey, I'm not only going to get after the daggone uh, facilities and the culture. Nah. They're building the what what fam you is great to do right now. They're they're building some things over there. I'm gonna tell you right now. Hey, listen. Yeah, they got some cold uniforms going on. My son was down there a couple of weeks ago for a scrimmage that they had. And I'm gonna tell you right now, he said, Dad, all they did was break out the socks. I said, I believe you, son. But they didn't show you the shoes. He said, nah, just the socks. I was like, oh, okay, cool. They got the socks. I said, how the socks look? 
They like, man, they, they was nice. They, hey, Pops, they was nice. Okay, okay, cool. But I'm going to tell you this right now. Yes, LeBron James and Nike, they're going to drape fam you. All of the sport teams there and the band, the March of 100 going to be in daggone LBJ, uh, LBJ apparel. Not to mention the apparel, but they're going to have shoes as well as daggone uniforms as well. So I'm just like, yo, listen, 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 listen. We won't see none of this stuff until fall sports kick off. But I'm just saying, hey, guys, I'm going to tell you right now. Hey, fam, you came up big time. Because like I said, every sports team is going to be dripped out with LBJ uniforms, apparel, and footwear. So I know Brand Jordan was the was the, the brand of choice. The brand of choice before, yeah, and I know they're part of the Nike family. But you still need to stick around and see exactly what I'm trying to tell you about the deal. What's in the deal? What's, what's in the deal? It's always got to be something there for the students. It got to be something there for everybody to buy in. Because if you're not buying in, guess what? There's nothing to really talk about. But there's a big thing to talk about here, because I'm going to tell you right now. You want to know what I'm talking about as far as with this deal, right? You heard me talk about this deal through the whole video. Well, okay, fam, you want to make sure that their students are exceptional on the field as well as off the field. But you know what? As we as this world continues to turn and things keep changing, in the deal, MU students will be given the opportunity to receive support in student athletic development programs, offer internships, and coordinate networking opportunities for FAMU students. Now, you said, wait a minute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Say that again, coach. Let me say it again. In their deal, in their deal, FAMU students will be given the opportunity to receive support in student athletic development programs, offer internships, and coordinate networking opportunities for FAMU students. Now, if this ain't a win-win, I don't know what to tell you. You got to remember one thing. The governor of Florida Already signed it, signed that act that I, we, I talked about in the previous video before about the free play act about student athletes being compensated for their likeness, their name, their likeness, as well as getting endorsements. Guys, this is pretty much on those same lines that I was talking about before. Now there's programs in place. Google has a program that's going to go into place this fall that's called the HBCU Career Readiness Program. It's supposed to be in all HBCUs. Uh, this fall, the fall of 2021, according to Forbes magazine, Coach Walker didn't make this up. Forbes magazine's printed this. It's in their magazine. That's right. 2021, this fall is supposed to be there. So with everything that's in place right now, guys, HBCU schools is about to be on the map. And I'm going to tell you right now, this is truly a win-win for fam. So all I'm going to say to you is this, guys. I went to see when Adidas, Under Armour, Puma, uh, these other these other pair of companies. I wait to see what they gonna do next for some of these HBCU schools because I know a lot of you guys out there paying big money for a lot of those brand name shoes. And guess what? They ain't kicking it back down to you like LBJ. And you know what? A HBCU is receiving it. So all I can say is this: that's one man that we know for certain is putting his money where his mouth is. So, but I, hey, until next time, guys. If you like the content, please like, share, subscribe. That's right. Follow us on social media. The links are listed down below. And remember, guys. Be the one and lead.